Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, we're gonna play dinosaurs. But to be more exact, we're gonna play dinosaurs with Gishaw Sun's Avatar. So good of a car that uh, it's not a color and there's no other white card in the deck and we're still gonna try to sneak it in. The way this deck works is that we're gonna try to, uh, you know, play our good old dinosaur shell and hopefully we can get Gishaw. And when Gishaw comes in, we get to attack with her. Uh, Vigilance, Trample, Haste. And then whenever she does damage, we get to uh, put that many, or uh, look at that many cards on top of our deck and then put any dinosaur into play. In, into play, into the battlefield, not your hand. That's what I you know, misread about this when I first saw this card. This is actually amazing. Now, the way we're going to do that is not just by casting Gishaw, we can also sneak it in with fight rigging. So this is a rigging fight deck, so that's the whole idea about the old dinosaur shell. Instead of the fast, let's sneak out a whole hand with the uh, other card, I forgot, uh, not a tally, the other card that's green. Who cares? The, this time, we're going to run Gishaw. But also with that, we're also going to have a tally in case our opponents control. We're going to take their cards and play against them. So let's talk about the whole deck list, shall we? Uh, in the early game, we got our ramp spells in uh, four Lore Keeper and four Paleontologists, just, uh, you know, your mana dorks. In the three drop, we're going to have Fight Rigging and Pugnacious Hammer Skull. But we also sneak in to Huatli to search for our playing if we need to, but also we can flip it to the backside and try to cast Gishaw with her, and more importantly, try to search for Gishaw with her uh, in Chapter 3. Then on the 4 drop, not really a 4 drop, we're going to have Hulk King Raptor. We're going to try to sneak this out with our Mana Dorks so that we get extra mana to cast our dinosaurs when we need to. Uh, and then in the 5 drop, we got 3 Bonehole Dracosaur. In the 7 drop, we're going to have Trumpeting Carnosaur and a Tally, 3 each. And then finally in the 8 drop, we're going to have 1 Skull Sport Nexus to try to get big dinosaurs and double our attacks. And then 3 Gishaw to, uh, you know, cheat in our other dinosaurs. Now this deck, you can see, we have a lot of 4-offs in the early game, then a lot of 3-offs in the late game. That's kind of the weird synergy that this deck can do so that we have multiple plays. And it's basically abusing the arena... Uh, algorithm to get us our early game four drops for consistency and a late game we get our three drops uh, when you have three drops it's a lot uh, less chance of you drawing multiple of them in your hand i don't know why i think it's the shuffler bug but i feel like after playing all the games out today that did definitely did happen then uh, in the land base, we're very, very heavy uh, land deck. So we're in a heavy mana cost deck, so we have a lot of lands. 26 total. One plank to search out with Watley. Three mountains, five forests. Just one Poseidu so that we can destroy an artifact enchantment if we need to. Then four Carperline Gorge, four Carpusan Forest, four Rockfall Veil, vale, and four Cavern of Souls to get under the counter spells. That's the whole deck list. This is a very strong deck. Uh, and let's just go into the games. Alright, our opponent's gonna be the Arcane Berserker. That's a long name. It's even longer than my name. We're gonna go first. Um, can we afford to keep something like this going first? I'll try. I don't know. I'd like to have more Mana Dorks, but we have one. And you can always hope that you draw your one drop Mana Dork every game. Look at Tapland. Whatever will I do? There's only one mana, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to play anything turn 3 either, because this will cost 5. Swift Water Clips. Alright, Copper Line Gorge Time. Okay, Ecologist. We might have the time, to be fair. Oh, okay, never mind. We get to play something. We just Dinosaur it. No, they're not... One mana. Do they have a counter spell for one mana? I don't think so. Let's get a Raptor up. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Atali's coming on next turn. Maybe he wants to hold up a counter spell. No, a Blood Tithe Harvester. Dinosaurus. Tally's here. What do we get? A Braid and then a Pugnacious Hammer Spell. This is not Trample, right? I don't want to attack with this. So what do we sack here? We sack a land. We got a lot of lands. Alright, he doesn't sack his land, so I get to draw a card. 
enjoy fighting this board here. <laughs> that was this is a scary opener. Uh, this is what Rakdos Vampire? No, uh, Grixis Vampire. G good luck with that. Okay, uh, I'll take it. All right, next opponent is Sammy. Uh, is where's Dean? Opponent goes first. We got one, two, and then nothing for like five turns. So, sure, sure, why not? Let's see what what's the worst this can be. Uh, fairy probably Boros. That's actually pretty good. Fight Club will be better, but that's fine. Copper coat? That's a lot of damage. Any all five mana next turn. So let's, let's just use all five mana here. Bone Horde Dracozor. Let's see if I can even survive. Another Copper Coat? That's... Yeah. So let's see. Four, three, four. If I kill the Thalia, I will be able to survive a little bit longer. But if I kill the Copper Coat, everything gets weakened. For a turn, right? No, I, I, I cannot kill the Copper Coal or I'll die. So I have to kill Thalia. I don't know if this matters. So, what do I get? A treasure? If I exile a land, I. Hmm, each non land card. If I exile a land, I get a dinosaur. I didn't exile a land here. Which would have helped. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Five attackers. I have three up to four blockers maximum. Mm. Annoying. Very annoying. I can do a five. If I double that, it would be ten. It's not lethal. Uh, if I play this, maybe a tally will help. Maybe. Alright. Let's keep the new one. Ooh. Uh Man Ossification does nothing. I could not block the copper code, so it doesn't do nothing. That's a big war. Real damage cards, put any dinosaur card from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest. Okay. 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 Any dinosaur cards, you say? Any dinosaur cards, you say? <laughs> Get out of here, you aggro deck. No match for the roar. Okay, next opponent, the Advid Gamer 14. What how old he is. You go first. We got ramp into Hwathli. Uh Let's keep. That's good enough. Not the best hand. Well, actually, pretty good hand. Just not going first. Also, they're Avid Gaming. Avid Gaming plays red. Avid Gaming plays red, then nothing. You know, I have one play, no deck. I don't know how I keep drawing it. Lightning Strike? Okay. Kill my ramp spell? I guess that's smart. Let us... Hug him. Hug him good. Hey, dude, I can draw a Fight Club and does me a whole different game. Huh. 
Okay. You got it. Straight of planes. Uh, do we have another, do I need another mountain? I mean, just mountain or forest, right? So, eh, why not? Nah, I'll, I'll stay back here. Let's see what your rod hub does. You wanna deal another damage to me? Probably gonna pump the heck out of that Phoenix chick. Cause I can't fly. Thundering Raiju. you well, are gonna have to attack with that. No? You know it has haste, right? Do you know how haste works? Uh, what does this do on the backside? Create two, three, three green dinosaur creature tokens. Uh, two, three, three. Yeah, we can wait that out. This is a much better card. Okay, this is the third opponent that just rage quit on turn two. Our next opponent, the Gujit Silva. Ooh, that's a lot of black lotuses flying around her. And we get to go first with ramps? Oh boy. That is an old boy, old boy, old boy. All right, we're gonna say hi. I'm gonna regret this, but I have to play this on humans for this to even work. Let's see, this, this is human druid. All right, so I have to name. Actually, what's Huati? Also humans. Yeah, I knew I was going to regret it. Well, they bounced us. Consider. Oh. Is it a combo deck? Two rock full veils. And we're skull time. Yeah, you better keep up a counter spell. Then we draw a copper line gorge. That is... B E A beautiful. All right. I don't know how many games I can have that last only two minutes, but this is, this is the fourth one. All right, next opponent, Foxhole Two Thousand. Yes. That that's a name if you ever seen one. I right, we get to go first. Go first, no play for three turns, then no play for another turn, and then some plays. Can't, can't have that. Not better. Not really, no. We'll throw back a hammer skull. We'll put down the rock ball veil. This is, yeah, just, just not better, right? Not any better. At least I get a curve out if I freaking draw a land here. What is this? First strike and trample. Yikes. Forge. Alright, these creatures just died for nothing. Dinosaurus. This is six damage. Will they take six? No, he blocks it. One creature down. My board! You monster! Some corals to populate. Forge deck? I confused. Well, I'm not getting my 5th or 6th land, or 7th land for that matter. This is going to be a while. 26 lands in the deck. Let's see if we get our lands out. 3-1. Do I block the 3-1? Will they have a pump spell? Do I care? I probably care. I could get a fight club. Plus, plus one minus one. Okay. 
don't get a fight club, but I get a bone hole dragon war. You wanna block? It doesn't block. Down to 14. And maybe we just curve out with more lands. That's fine with me. 6-1. Uh, that's 7 damage, right? Do we die from 7 damage? I don't want to just throw my Dracozor out there for nothing, but it is first strike. Exile a land and a card. Oh, great! That's a land and a card. Alright, I get to play the land this turn and also play the card this turn. So, uh, if I'm playing fire rigging, I am not playing the other card. Wait, hold on a second. Um, you may play them this turn, right? Both cards. Okay, good. So I can fight, I can rig the fight. Company Carnosaur is a pretty good card. Slightly less good, but I'll take it. This is seven plus five. Uh, that's a lot of damage. It's twelve damage. You want to do something? Goes down to two. Wow. All right, opponent's gutsy. No? Good game. Jank, no match. Next opponent, the Murdoch Nick Cow. We gotta go first with ramp. Okay. Let's see if they'll kill our ramp. Or if they're too aggro for us. Their name is very long. Usually long names are Boros. Here it comes. Uh, main face, resolute reinforcement. That's the caliber opponent I'm fighting. Nice. If I play this, I will be able to bone horn next turn, which might be what I want to do. More. Right, then the the hammer skull because if I play a hammer skull and I don't draw a land that's a dead turn next turn and with this deck I don't know how many interactions they may actually have yeah come at me bro I do draw a land punish for my safe play eh won't be the first one alright this costs 8 right I have 6 mana so I need more Maybe he'll attack me. He probably won't attack. Me. Land, land. That's unfortunate. We'll play a land. We'll play another Dracozor. Let's go. And we'll attack with the first one. We need to close, right? Do I need to close right now, though? One, two. Uh, no, I need a block. He has a whiteboard and I would just die. So I need to have more blockers out. So I'm not killing him next turn, right? That's the idea. So the Kisha won't actually get through this whole whiteboard. It's not flying. Only the flyers will be able to get through. Soak is in. Oh man, that is that is a buttload of damage. You like to attack? It does attack. Alright. I have to go to blockers. So, this blocks a three. This blocks a three. This blocks a three. This will block a two. And this will block a two. Right, so the only thing I get to is this three, two. Still a lot of damage. If 
Dry rigging won't do it. Gishaw might be able to do it. Dinosaurs. I mean, this is the War Leader's call, right? I can't. I gotta hope that he top decks nothing. He has lots of top deck into nothing, so. If I play Gishaw here, that's all my mana. And I will be able to attack him, but then I won't be able to block. Whereas in if I Fire Rig and Hammer Skull. Yeah, I think I have to Hammer Skull and Fight Rig just for another turn. Because the Gishaw won't give me anything Atali. Uh yeah, the Gishaw won't give me anything good. Not on her own. Attack with one. I have one blocker. Basically, he draws anything, I die. I, I gotta hope that is cards are all lands. He has a card in his hand too. Alright, that's that's no good. I'll probably just die. Hey, at least we played it out. You know, the uh, war leader's calls. Yeah, GG. It's good, but the main thing is I don't know if I would have played that game any differently, but yeah. Our next opponent, Remy Lebeau. Lebeau. Opponent goes first. We got a little bit of ramp. Good enough. Went from a little bit to a lot of bit. Spar headquarters though. So bent, bent toxic. That's two different colors already. I am. Let's hammer scold him, see what happens. If he doesn't do anything, I'll attack him with a hammer scold. On a ridge does mean they're maybe not a Huh. Okay, this is really weird. Hot a ridge makes this thing like it's not a uh what's that thing called again? The domain deck. But then all the other tap lands kind of feels like a domain deck. Stun myself. Another one if it has to make this appear. Doesn't. We'll go up to six mana next turn. So unless you want to board wipe it right now. With the Brotherhood's end, maybe? Bramble for okay, is that there? I don't think I want to kill this Bramble for Familiar. One mana means no counter spells, so let's play the company carnosaur. Maybe we'll get something good. Maybe a fight. Oh, hey, fire rigging. Well, we're not gonna get Gishaw, unfortunately. But maybe we get a tally. We do get a tally. Leyline binding. Oh, okay, fine. You jerk. I guess they have the combo now. That's green. That's also green. I don't think you can do it with double green. Red. Herd migration. Alright. So he has white, black, uh, red, right? White, black, blue, and green. All right. He should have enough right now to do his combo, but not this turn is what I'm hoping for. Almost a tally last turn. Second Bramble from You know how your deck works, right? Let's just be sure. Oh, 
Luka. And also a fire rookie. Ha, <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, you want a combo? How about I combo? Okay, our next opponent is the bet off. Bet, bet, all bets are off. Go first with ramp. Oh, yeah. That's as good of a hand as we're going to get, so our opponent's going to rage quit. Our opponent's probably not even going to play a land. It's just going to quit like in 10 seconds. Watch. This is the day, right? If I have a really good hand, our opponent will just explode. If I have a bad hand, they're Boros, or they're just going to capitalize on our bad hands. And I still try to play it out, but oh boy. No, they're, they're in the game. So here is a lore keeper. We shall keep the lore. Backstreets. Backstreet boys are here. We're gonna hammer the skull. No place. You don't want to do that. Well, I guess you could do that. Oh, I can't play. I can't play a land. Only spells. Do I? No, let's let's keep the hammer skull on. Temporary lockdown on my mana board? Uh. Okay, it's not really how it works. There we go. I guess they're quit now. A dinosaur? I could. I can't play it? I'm confused. I couldn't play it last time. Oh, because I played a land already that turn. That was probably why. Attack. <laughs> oh boy. That's just not fair. Decline. Do you have a depopulate? Vanquish the horde. Alright, they got something. I guess it's just remove all the deck. Dinosaur? Well... Do we play a hulking raptor here? No. Well... I guess we'll play a hulking raptor. I don't want to play the paleontologist. It's a lot of value. But a lot of value that requires more mana to do. I want to get the Gesha out, but it's really hard to get the Gesha out. Deadly cover up? Alright, what are you gonna cover up? What does he cover up? The Gesha, okay. Man, that, that deck is tearing me apart. Oh no, he took out a tally. I thought he took out Gesha. Okay, so that's two mana to play this, two mana to exile a card. Two mana to play this. Two mana to exile a car from my graveyard. Let's say the hammer skull. And three mana to play the hammer skull with the finale counter. Why not? Let's put it on the paleontologist. Does he just have board wipe for days? Four wipe for days. Definitely work against this deck. We can do it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Four wipe for days, right? I mean, it's, it's something. <coughs> Jesus. What do you take out? Ah, 
Why don't we draw lands? What the heck is that? Not even gonna attack? Well, if you're not gonna attack... I'm just really surprised he did not remove the Gishal. This is trample. Is he gonna kill me? I'm confused. for all creatures so I am gonna huh. exile target card you may cast dinosaur spells from among cards you exile with intrepid palinsaur if you cast the spell this way yeah I don't know how this works it doesn't say as long as I control it Yeah, I have no idea how this works. It does not say when, right? There's no timing on this. Alright, well, Grackles or it is. You have a stick. I just put the glass on. Can I get a good shot, please? No. Oh, uh, there's another Dracozor. I don't want to get another Dracozor. But, uh. Yeah, I don't want to get another Trapezoid. What I really want is a Gishaw, which I still have. Right? Yeah. I exile Mike the Shaw so that he cannot deadly cover up it. Gave me a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> then start attacking. Temporary lockdown? Yeah. Oh, that deck is... Is our opponent just tech against our deck? Is that is that the plan? Want the Carnosaur again? Oh, my top deck was a good shot. Now it's bottom deck. Oh, man. I'm so... It's so painful right now. He's at four, so... A okay, Gishaw will kill him. But of course. Let's see. He loses one life and draw a card. If he wants to do that. He'll die pretty quickly. He's at four. Because he's at four times. And then he'll die. I wonder if that's his plan. Does he have life gain in that deck? Has he thought this through? Does he want... I guess he does. Marchessa. 3-6. I get a hammer skull. It is not a card that I wanted to see.
Like, he has a restless fortress though, so he can gain life from that if he wants. So then I'll be dead. I have 25 cards. We got boar wipes back to back to back. One time I needed to get shot, it gets tucked to the bottom. Unstable glyph. Break his own creature. Alright, he's at 5. Still a win if I draw Gishaw. Alfotli is fine. Alfotli can do... stuff. Also shuffle to Gishaw. And if he wants, he can, he can break it. cast a spell during your turn they can't attack you or planeswalker can't cast spells oh my god what did they cover up oh company carnosaur okay good i don't even want that do you want to break my roar break the roar let's see what happens if you when you do it This is craft with three, right? Can he craft with three? Does he have three? I guess he can craft it with these three. Now he's just gonna attack me with the restless fortress. Go up to eight. Gisha is. Is it eight? No, it's seven. Oh man. When you finally draw it, it's seven. <laughs> This is so sad. And then they rope. cards left. Do I want to plug Nature's Hammer Skull? I don't. Not really. He knows how to cavern. Sunfall? You gonna break my roar? Doesn't break my roar. Alright, now let's show you the regret. Last Shaw. Last Shaw comes in. Okay. You know I have trample, right? GG. Ah, take that. Four hours of one game, but. Still stomped it out. You're no match for the power of Gisha. Welcome back, everyone. So now that you've seen all of those games, I, I they do mean all of those games and all the games that you know, lasted one or two turns. You see how how amazing this deck is to just kind of uh, threaten your opponent. If opponent sees dinosaurs, they just kind of crap their pants and run away. But on the other side of that, you also saw that in that last game, how long that took. Oh my gosh. They just keep boar wiping and keep boar wiping. But the trick is to make sure you get shot them. Just get shot them and they, they die anyway. So it doesn't matter. They did not play that game well. And I played that game perfectly. And I get shot them to death. Then dinosaurs. Dinosaurs rule the day. Dinosaurs are the best. And this deck is a very fun dinosaur deck. I don't I don't want to say this is the best dinosaur deck because uh, I haven't played enough to judge, but I do think this deck is a more fun version of the dinosaur deck because it's got the, you know, early game synergies into the late game, the the heart of the dinosaur card, the Gisha, right? So it makes it seem like we are uh, we're, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and we're like the, the evil villain that's, you know, so solely playing dinosaurs in our deck. That's kind of the idea and it's it's still fun i really like this deck in that way that's that's all i got for you today thank you very much for joining me and i will see you guys next time